Hello, 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 and welcome and happy, happy Thursday. It is Thursday on November 16th, 2023. I'm super excited to be here with you today. If you are wondering, you are watching Joanne Stealing the Fan, and I'm your host, Joanne Angel Barry Cologne, your holistic intuitive teacher and also card creator and reader. I'm so glad to be here with you today. How are you all doing on this amazing Thursday. I'm going to start it off by just saying I'm just really, really amazed that we are, what, less than six weeks away from 2024. How about you guys? Are you surprised as I am? I know I am really surprised. Anyway, as I would love, love, love to remind you, share, like, and comment on today's show. As I'm going to do the same thing, um, you're going to share this all out just as we are right now. Just letting everybody know that we are live. We are live. Share the show. Comment on what you like about the show, previous shows for that matter. And we're going to get this party started right on track. There we go. Super, super excited. So if you've missed any of the episodes, specifically the last episode, which took place on November 2nd, Simple Solutions for Transformations, know that you can always go back and watch on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Twitch TV, right here, YouTube, and of course, Twitter. And the flyer that just showed up, which I sort of missed, but it was just there, and it will show up here and there throughout the, uh, throughout the show. If you have questions, comments, or you would like to schedule a self-growth discovery session or reading, you can always scan on that QR code. So with all that being said, I do want to give a shout out to all my amazing partners that do help make the show run as often as it runs. And in case you're not familiar, the show runs on different day now, where it used to run on Sundays. We now run on the first and third Thursday of the month. The time is still the same, 3.30 p.m. Eastern, just in case you're not sure what time it is right now. Anyway, I want to give a big shout out to my partners. We're going to start off with Joe Monkman. He is our personal development trainer yes he is yes he is now we have cj ives lopez who's the host and publisher of the author's porch podcast and magazine kitty fast she's the host of intuition of the soul and storyteller of astrology reader of the stars tammy moses podcast host and founder of courting solution and last but never least, we have, who is our guest for today, Deborah Beauty. She is our badass color mystic. So give a big shout out to all of my partners that you make the show run week after week. If you would like to find out how you can become a partner, a guest, again, there is a flyer with my name on it, my QR code. Go ahead and click on that QR code and Send me an email inquiring about how you can become a guest and also a partner on the show for 2024. Anyway, well, let me take a breath before I dive into today's introduction in reference to energy, in reference to all that's going on. I know I've been buzzing. There's been so much energy, so many portals going on for the entire year of 2023. We are currently in a massive portal as we speak. And when I speak of portals, in case you're not familiar with what a portal is, a portal is a gateway or doorway that allows the communication between the spirit realm and the human realm to be really, really easy to communicate with. So that veil is thin. And right now, through November 19th, we have this portal of the angels working with us. And what do I mean by the portal? Well, if you write down the date, starting from November 10th, which is at 11-1, and you write it down for every date through the 19th, you'll notice there's three ones in the date. To start off with, you have that 11 energy, which is reminding you of the master healer. We all are master healers for ourselves. As we work on healing who we are, we can then contribute and help others to do the same. Then we have that third one, which is an angel number. Again, reminding you that you are supported on this journey. You're not alone. You're not doing this by yourself. You have the support of the angels, fairies, your ancestors, loved ones, and of course your higher power. You have the support of the earth, mother Gaia, the earth star, and then of course you got the universal support. All of your tribe is supporting you on this journey, so you're never alone. 
even though you might think you are, you're not. So pay attention to that energy. In addition to this week's 111 energy, we go into a very powerful portal starting next week where we're going to have that 11 energy and then the 22 energy. So massive, massive energy is there. If you write out those dates, those are some big things coming in. In addition to on, let's talk a little bit about uh, November 22nd, which is, of course, 11-22. Massive, massive, massive massive building changes coming in and then we also have 11 23 23 which is about massive changes massive changes what's changing in your world i know there's so much that has changed in mine what's changing in your world and then let's talk about november 24th which is when mars will be transitioning out of scorpio and moving into sagittarius joining forces with mercury however Right now, the sun is in Scorpio, and then as of November 22nd, the sun will be moving out of Scorpio and also moving into Sagittarius. So we are going to have a lot of energy flowing in that Sagittarius plane. Sagittarius is all about traveling, um, your dream state, higher wisdom, also letting go of things. So there may be a lot of you out there in that space of trying to let things go. Positive, positive energy. And I'm going to start to pull a card to help you get into this energy of Sagittarius. As we are in the final days of Scorpio's energy, but we do have a lot of energy sitting in that Sagittarius. And I also want to make a note where I'm person, where the collective moon energy is for today, which is in Capricorn, sitting right alongside Pluto. Capricorn is all about your soul's work, the work that you're here to do. Not your nine to five, but your actual work that you're here to do. But let's see what one card shows up to help us with the work that we're here to do. Such a perfect card. New beginnings. I think that's so perfect for the energy that we are in. Again, as um, the sun starts to move out of Scorpio, which is about helping us to transform, moving into Sagittarius, which is about the higher wisdom and traveling into different things. And the moon currently in Capricorn, helping us to really step into our soul's calling. New beginnings. The color is purple. Crown energy. Higher consciousness. Higher wisdom. Higher knowing. Learning how to not be led by your ego or conditions or beliefs. And really using your higher wisdom to tap into this amazing energy. Then we have that number 10. That 10 is so Perfectly aligned with that Capricorn energy. After all, Capricorn is ruled by the 10th house. 10 in numerology is about reminding you about your new beginnings with potential and choices. So that's an amazing card we have going on right now. So are you buzzing? Do you feel that tingling sensation going on in your crown? I'd like to say hello to all of our viewers at this time, we have Anne. She is our number one viewer. She always shows up. So thank you so much for being here with me right now. All this is being said, I'm going to take a moment to take a commercial break. And then I'm going to come back with my amazing guest. So I'm taking that break right now. Maybe I'm taking that break right now. Well, maybe I'm not. We'll see. Maybe the universe wants me to stay here a little bit longer. Okay, if that is the case, then I'll hang out and chat with you a little bit more. Reminding you again that if you have any questions or if you want to schedule that self-growth discovery session or reading, there should be a flyer that pops up somewhere along the line. There you go. That QR code. You can also scan on that if you'd like some more information about how you can become a guest and a partner of the show. Now we're going to take that quick commercial break.
Hey, this is Joe Monkman and I am a personal development trainer. And that means that I help people step into their leadership roles, uh, take their place uh, as a visionary, really understand their own mastery in the world so that they can really find their place at the buffet of life. And if you want to know more, you can find me on my Facebook page at Joe Monkman and Joe Monkman at gmail.com. Hello, 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 and welcome back to Joanne's Healing Within. For those of you who are just tuning in, I'm your host, Joanne Andrew Barry Cologne, and I'm super excited to be here with you today. If you missed the first part of the show, know you can always come back and watch on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Twitch TV, and so many other platforms. I always like to share a little bit about the first part of the show with the card. And today's card is so appropriately aligned with the moon's energy in Capricorn. That 10 is a representation of Capricorn. It's about your soul's calling. It's about new beginnings. It's looking at your soul's calling in a different way. And there's so many planets helping us to really transform who we really are. Many of us are in a state of contemplation, trying to figure out what new things are coming in. So many of us are in the energy field of letting things go right now. So lots of decluttering taking place. Know that that one is new beginnings, that zero is potential and choices. The crown is about your higher consciousness and higher wisdom. I'm going to leave it with that. And I'm going to welcome my guest in, Deborah Beatty, our badass color mystic. Love, 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 love that. Love it. And before we dive in, I just want for Bobby to post something up. There is a flyer with a QR code for Deborah as well. If we could just show that flyer up there. There you go. So anyone who has any questions looking to book a session with Deborah, go ahead and scan on that QR code so you can do that. There's no need for us to share our emails anymore because technology just makes things so much easier. So welcome, 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 Miss Deborah. How are you today? I am good. I am good. I'm glad to be here. Thank you for inviting me again. And before we... Before we get on to the topic for the day, um, I just wanted to share that the card that I pulled this morning for my daily practice was a yellow child. And the number for the child is a one. So- Oh, look at that. So, per so perfectly aligned with the card that I pulled for the day. Love that. Bring that one into your camera so we have a better vision of it. A little blurry. Okay. There we go. Come back with it. Come back. Come back. Come back. There you go. Perfect. A little bit over. Perfect. Excellent. Yes. Yes. One child. And yes. yellow is, you know, yellow is all about the expansion of knowing and vision and the ability to dream. And it's the awakening of intellect and the awakening of the ability to to, to question and and seek and it's also the color of lots of things coming at you at one time and um you know how you can learn to juggle and um it's uh it's it's interesting with what you said is going on with all of the astrological thing the same thing is kind of going on on the color network too Yes, yes. And because everything, the way I see it, everything is so perfectly aligned, energetically speaking. So it just makes so much sense that way. So we have an interesting title for today's show. And let me see if I can say this. Because the <laughs> Deborah always has to have these amazing words. So today's title is all about having a gratitudinous. Is that the way we say that? Gratitudinous. Gratitude, gratitudinous attitude. I love that because I was actually <coughs> reading something the other day, and I've heard this before. It's always nice to get confirmation and reinforcement. To keep your energy high, gratitude is key. So let's talk a little bit about that title. How did you come up with that darn title? Well, it's actually a workshop I used to do years ago, and I'm uh, I'm in the process of bringing it back and updating it. Um, it has to do with being, you know, gratitude in itself is a state of being thankful 
for things received. Um, but it wasn't enough. And, you know, yeah, you can have a grateful attitude. Um, but the way that I like to take words apart, um, I wanted gratitude to actually be in there. So having gratitude, the, the sense and the state of being in gratitude in your attitude. And um, so uh, playing around with the words like I love to, I just came up with that. I also have a gratitude and attitude daily journal that I'll be talking about later also uh, in my tip and such, but. Excellent. Yes. So I'm going to start off with the very first question because, again, I like the question too. Anytime Deborah gets me to curse, I get really excited because I'm not really one to curse. And not that she has a really bad curse word here. But the question that comes to mind is, my life sucks. How can I gratitude fix? How can I gratitude fix that? So how can someone who has a who feels like their life sucks, how can they fix that with gratitude? Well, one of the things that you look at is what is making your life suck? Is it something external that you have no control over? At which point you can let go of that because nothing you can do is going to change that. And in acceptance and being grateful for what's happening to you, because it's always, you know, the saying is it's always darkest before the dawn. And be, you know, look at the situation that you're in. If you feel like your life sucks, it's going to continue. Because whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. And so um, it, it has to do with your state of mind. And if you can look at what's going on, there's a reason for your life to suck. And if you can find, it's, it's like I do with my betrayal work. You have to look for the gift because in everything that happens to you that's less than optimum, in your opinion, is a gift. And you may have to learn a lesson before you can unwrap that gift. And at which point you look around at what's going on and what is it that's making your life suck? It may just be you and your attitude. Exactly. Because exactly. Out. exactly. It's the same as when we, as you say about taking time to be grateful for all the things you do have. It's also about taking time to be grateful for the things you're expecting to come in. So being grateful for things we don't have yet so that pre-appreciation before it shows up. And oh, exactly. move that, say again? I said, oh, exactly. I mean, that is, that is absolutely it. And that is the principle that I built my gratitude journal around. Um, I have, uh, it's, it's a system that I have where um, you, on one page, you write down everything that you're trying to draw to you, all of your wish list, everything that you, and then you're grateful for those things right now, as if they're already yours, because they are. All you have to do is claim them. Yeah. And then on and the for that matter, page, as you're saying, redirect the, the focus from your life sucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And then if, um, the way that my journal works is on the other side, the other page, the side facing it, you write down all the things that you're grateful for that you have already. And, you know, just the process of writing all those things down, you may find that you have things to be grateful for that you've taken for granted or forgotten. And this is a way to bring them all back up to the surface. I love that. Yeah, because because we do. We often we often get caught up that if we don't have the thing that we've been wishing on forever and we don't have it just yet, we it's almost like I always look at it as like the universe tests us in reference to when we start setting out those wishes or manifesting. And it's like we haven't received it yet in our timeline. So the universe tests and slows it down. 
can you still stay in a state of gratitude even though you don't have the thing you're wishing for? And that's the test because if you can stay in a state of gratitude, the thing you're wishing for shows up faster because you can stay in a state of gratitude. Also, and adjust your expectations and be open to wonder. That's another part of the yellow child is, you know, the child opens to wonder, you know, if, uh, having things happen, you know, with, with serendipity or, you know, there's no such thing as coincidences or accidents. I mean, we cause everything. And, you know, if you're asking for something, either be completely specific or uh, just give the universe a, a rough sketch of what it is you're asking for and be open to things showing up that may have been different than you expected, but they're just as wonderful. I love that. <laughs> I have another question for you. Okay. Since we're, okay. since we're talking about challenges and, you know, in that space of sometimes we go to the dark, darkness before we can actually open the gift, the question <laughs> I have, why should I be grateful for the challenges I face? Let's talk about that. Um, well, one of the reasons to be grateful is because once you, once you overcome those challenges, you get to celebrate you. And you get to celebrate whatever lesson you learned by going through those challenges. Because I look at challenges like a brick wall. You know, sometimes uh, you, you can't go under it, you can't go over it, you can't go around it. You need to go through it. Yes. And we've talked before about thresholding and about, um, you know, going from the light room, standing on the threshold to a dark room when all you have to do to, to obliviate that uncertainty is reach around and turn on the light switch. And sometimes that light switch is a comment from a friend or somebody you trust, or just, you know, just being open to whatever comes your way yes. and, and you know, on to the gratitude that you are here to experience those things because every challenge that shows up in your life the bigger and the and the bigger the failure if you don't overcome it the bigger the reward because as we've said before failure you know failure is a test of how close you are to what you want Exactly, exactly. And I, I actually had posted um, what I'm about to say a couple of weeks back in regards to the gratitude and the things that we're wishing for. Because sometimes what happens is when we sit working on our manifestation and we're not seeing it, we see, seeing to receive it, sometimes we have to ask ourselves, is what we're looking to manifest really aligned with who we are? Or we look in the manifest manifest something that might be more aligned with the older version of ourselves, and that's why it may not be showing up. So just like Deborah said before, when you're sitting in that space of trying to manifest something, either be really super, super clear to what it is you want to manifest, with a little wiggle room letting the universe play along too. Because when we get too rigid on it, sometimes we don't leave space for the possibilities of something being different and allowing the universe to really show up something for us that serves us. You know, so that gratitude of just knowing that whatever it is that you're looking to bring in, it's going to show up slightly different the way you imagine it to look, because most of the time that's just what happens. And it's also really important to give up the attachment to the result. You know, if you're really attached to it showing up just a certain way, um, quite frankly, you're never going to get it that way. And yeah, you'll be disappointed too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it shows up exactly as you want, then you have to wonder, well, what could you have had? You know, it's, it's like going into an ice cream store and getting a single scoop of ice cream. And then somebody walks by with a banana split and you're going, 
I could have had that. Yeah, exactly. 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 Love that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have the board just share with you um, who she is for the minute and then her flyer of the QR code is going to show up so she doesn't have to share her website with you because that's going to send you right there. So again, scan that QR code so you do want to reach out to Deborah for anything and everything to do just that. And then Deborah, if you would, just before we take that commercial break and we're doing things a little different, share one tip before we take that commercial, uh, excuse me, commercial break. Okay, just a second. I want to unblur my screen so that I can show you this. Perfect. Okay, this is coming from my gratitude journal. Okay. Oh, well um, I published this the same time I published my other book, but one of the things that I have is these are the two pages that I was talking about. Oh, okay? beautiful. So here's a tip for you on the, how much time do we have, Joanne? We need to take a commercial break, but go ahead with okay. the tip. So can we do it when we come back then? We definitely can. Yes. So let's take that commercial break. Stay at the edge of your chair, so when we come back, Deborah is going to share more about this beautiful journal and the tip. So we're going to take that commercial break. Hi, everyone. I'm Kitty Foss. And I'm Amy J. And we're Intuition of the Soul. We are a Facebook and YouTube group that has created a sacred spiritual place to look at your spiritual practices. And there's too much to tell you about what we do, but let me tell you, we have weekly activities, we have monthly activities, and you are not going to want to miss our Spiritual Practitioner Series. So join us on Intuition of the Soul. Aloha. Hi, I'm CJ. Gather's Porch is a community where you find good books and good people. We collaborate with services that deliver quality to authors and publish a magazine for authors by authors. Come by, let us feature you or review your book. Coffee is always on. And no matter what time you arrive or where you come from, the porch light is always on. have to say that I just like that commercial about hoarding solutions. It's so appropriate for all of us in reference to decluttering. Let me bring back my guest, the, the, the Boravini, as we were chatting just before we went to commercial break. She was just showing us a beautiful journal that she has created. Show that journal again because I think we all need to see it, including me. Well, this is this is the journal that, whoops, this there is the journal Perfect. that I created um, in 2012. And um, it's for a full year, and I am soon bringing out a 90-day version. So it's going to be smaller, easier to publish, easier to carry around. And what a, it's the Gratitude Miss Attitude Journal that goes along with the class that I taught. And the way that the tip that I want to give is how to set this up. You don't actually need the journal itself in order to be able to do this but it it works the the technique is get yourself any kind of a notebook and on the left hand side you know put the things that you want to bring to you definitely on the right hand side put the things that you already have that you're grateful for now on the left uh, and keep doing this every day but as you finish this I want you to take a rubber band or a paper clip or something and not look back for at least two weeks. You know, take one each day and then clip them. 
Nice. I like that idea. And clip them so that you don't, you can't look back. You're not allowed. And after two weeks, <laughs> take a look. And it's really it's funny, funny how many of the things on the left-hand side of the page have migrated to the right-hand side of the page. And you and you weren't even conscious of it. And so, yeah, give that a try. And I, if you'd like, I can give you what I have on the bottom of my left-hand page. Is And I know that as I write these down, they are created and present in my life right here, right now. I only have to look expectantly for them to find me. And then on the right-hand side, I say, and as well, I am grateful to those without whom I could never have been done or had all the wonderful things that I was or did or received today. And this is just a daily thing that you want to do, you know, start in the morning on the left hand and then in the evening on the right hand so that you know everything that you got that day you get to be grateful for. Yes. And so that's, that's my tip, you know, and if you, um, you know, if you do contact me, you'll go on my mailing list and I'll let you know when the new journal is, is um, available because it's going to be so pretty. I'm so excited. Yes, I, I'm sure I'm on your mailing list. So I'm sure I'm going to get that, that information because I'd like to know when the next thing, when the next one is going to be coming up. I have another question because I'm sure. Yeah, thank you. So we're talking about this thing called gratitude, and what does it actually really mean? What does gratitude really mean? Well, gratitude is a state of being grateful. I know that's. You know, we'll <laughs> can you go a little deeper, please? <laughs> yeah, I think I think I will. Um, for me, it's being in a state of wonderful expectation, of of being grateful, full of thankfulness for everything that you receive or will receive. And when you're, when you're in that state of gratitude, you are more receptive to things coming into your life that benefit you than you are when you're just being your normal grumpy self, you know? And it, it actually, it'll, it'll, it'll affect everything. Um, you know, uh, I was just reading where psychologists are talking about gratitude being affective meaning it's part of you and who you are or it's a mood that you know you happen to have a really good day one day out of six and out of seven and you're you're grateful or an emotion of being overcome with humility and thankfulness and so all of those things are meanings of gratitude but for me it's being of thankful expectation. I love that. I love that. I love that. Um, I'm just taking some notes, which is why I look a little distracted because I like to take notes. I like to take notes. And I, I think when we go into that mindset of being consciously grateful, it does help us to shift ourselves from whatever it is we might be feeling a little grouchy about. And I know that during the holiday season, specifically Thanksgiving, more people are in that mindset to be thankful. I'm so thankful for this. And we're, we're mindful of it. However, as Deborah is saying, this is, this is something that can be a daily practice for us every day for 365 days. And what I'm also hearing is for some, it may actually be, especially if you're writing it down like Deborah is suggesting, this could be something that can actually work out to become a book for people, where they actually write down their own little gratitude every single day, taking one thing that they're grateful for and writing it out and that at the end of 365 days, putting, together, putting it together and publishing it out so other people can read. Because it's always nice, like if I read something that Deborah has written that she's grateful for and I read that, Wow, I might be able to manifest some of what 
the world is manifesting. Isn't that fun? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and the other thing to remember is when you're working on, when you've chosen something big, this was, this phrase was given to me many years ago by a dear friend. And I was talking about, seems like the harder I try and work towards something, the, the harder it is to work towards something. And what he told me was that whenever you choose something really big for your life, everything unlike itself comes up first so that you can challenge yourself and prove to yourself that's really what you want. And if you're unshakable in your desire and your commitment and you take a stand for that thing that you're working towards, those challenges gradually get less and less and less until they don't even exist and you can have what you choose. Yes. Because after all, we are the creators of our journey, you know, and again, as we all know that if we are focusing on things that the grumpiness, then that's blocking, I like to use the word blocking us from all of our gratitude that we're looking to bring into our lives. So it's so important to do what it is Deborah is suggesting, get that journal. Yeah, you can get yourself a nice little cute notebook, but why not, why not support Deborah on her journey? Considering she's, I'm sure, spent some time putting that journal together, why not support her and get that pretty journal? Because that's going to make you only want to write your gratitude so much more because you have an actual place for it. As opposed to, I'm just going to show you a, just a boring old notebook, even though yes, it's purple, <laughs> you know, that you can actually write your, your, your gratitude information in. And it's a beautiful list that you get to uh, put it all into. And look at that cover. Oh, my God. Oh, wait till you see the new one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am so excited. When does the new one come out, did you say? Um. Well, let's see. My editor is going to get me the, the final copy by the end of the week. Then... Um, probably give it another week for it to get um, uploaded to Amazon and places like that. And then it'll be orderable. So and I'll we, also have some on my website. And are we su maybe suggesting that may might be ready and available just in time for those who might be doing some holiday shopping? Or is there going to oh, be? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I'm all about holiday shopping. Is is it's a it's a great way to start your new year it's a great way you know so many people make january first resolutions that last a week um, <laughs> if that's long <laughs> i i'm i'm guilty um but the thing is that it takes 28 days to make or break a habit and if you do this for 28 days if you can stand it clip those 28 days in your journal. Don't look back. Don't look back at what you have put down there that you want. And then on the 28th day, give yourself a treat and go flipping through and see what it was you wanted. What has migrated from the left side to the right side? And also, do you still want those things? That's because a good question. Change, it's like, oh God, why did I ask for that? <laughs> you know, it's that, like, is a, that is a re that I love. I like the fact that you brought that up because that's really good. Because again, as we are evolving, what we might have wanted 28 days ago, we might be sitting back saying, "Well, I don't need that anymore because I'm in a different place." So that's it. That I like that. I like that. I do like that. So here we're gonna do this again. We're going to pull up that flyer that has the board's QR code on it. So it's going to show up in magic seconds from now, I'm sure. Come on, Bobby. Bring it on. Show us that QR fly, um, scan for us, that code. I don't know. I think in case people it. can't scan it or they don't know about QR codes, 
Um, my website is createdlife.com. Come and visit. Yes, yes. But I would think at this point in time, most of us know how. I'm going to put it this way. If I know how to scan a QR code, I think everybody knows how to scan a QR code. You know, because it took me a little while. I sit there trying to figure it all out. Like, how does this shit work? <laughs> you well, know, so, you know, but not all, all phones have cameras that scan QR yeah. codes. Sometimes they need to download an app, that kind yes. of stuff. Yes, so it's very, always good for a backup now and then. Yes, very, very true. And considering that code has not shown up yet, I don't know. Bobby, what are you doing back there? We're waiting for that QR code to pop up because we want to take a commercial break and come back and play some more. You want to show that code for us? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll oh, give it'll, it'll, up. it'll come up. There yeah. it is. Yay! Again. For those of you who have access to a camera on your phone, you can just go ahead and scan that QR code, grab an appointment with the board to find out about all that she does, find out how to go about getting this updated journal that she's got coming out for the holidays, just in time so you can start your whole 90-day journaling of gratitude. And it makes a great holiday gift as well. So I'm in that holiday and mode. It's going to be beautiful. Yes, yes. I wish I could pull up the cover for you guys. It's <laughs> yes. May maybe for the next show, we'll have a picture of it that we can show it off. So uh, this way here, we'll have that available. So we're going to take that quick commercial break, and we will be back, and we'll be talking about more with Devorah. We'll be right back. Hey, this is Joe Monkman and I am a personal development trainer and that means that I help people step into their leadership roles, uh, take their place uh, as a visionary, really understand their own mastery in the world so that they can really find their place at the buffet of life. And if you want to know more, you can find me on my Facebook page at Joe Monkman and joemonkman at gmail.com. Hi, everyone. I'm Kitty Foss and I'm Amy J and we're intuition of the soul. We are a Facebook and YouTube group that has created a sacred spiritual place to look at your spiritual practices. And there's too much to tell you about what we do, but let me tell you, we have weekly activities. We have monthly activities and you are not going to want to miss our spiritual practitioner series. So join us on intuition of the soul. Aloha. Aloha. Hello and welcome back to Joanne's Healing Within. I am your host, Joanne Angel Barry Colon. If you are just tuning in, please do me a favor, share, like, and comment. And you can always come back later to watch whatever you've missed. You can watch on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Twitch TV, Twitter, YouTube, and of course, Facebook. And let me bring my guest back in, Deborah Beatty, as we are speaking about gratitude. I shortened the title just a little bit because the borrower always gives me these beautiful words to say that screws up my tongue all the time. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. That, that's because you love to play with words and words sort of screw me over. It's like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so the, during this segment, what usually takes place is we share a tip. Deborah has shared a tip already. Now, she has another tip she wants to share. That's great. But before we dive into that tip 
and whatever else she wants to share before I give her a card reading, I want to say that the Bora just shared the cover of her gratitude journal with me behind the scenes. And oh my God, holy sugar <laughs> boo boo boo, that is gorgeous. I will definitely be ordering one because oh my God, just the cover alone is beautiful. So yes, yeah, so I will definitely be ordering one. I'm gonna actually reach out to you later and ask you just to send me the link so I can just order it. So yes, so is there another tip you wanna um, offer the audience or do you wanna dive into just share whatever else you wanna share about gratitude before we dive into your reading? Well, I think one of the things that I wanna share is not necessarily a tip, but it has to do with a way of being if you can be gratitude, it brings a level of humility that also makes you more approachable. And if you can go into family gatherings that may be stressful, you know, got we there have been so many jokes about, oh, that's going to be a fun Thanksgiving. Um, <laughs> you know, with with people so divided in their beliefs and their, you know, their needs and wants. And, and, you know, with pe people are different. I mean, they're no, but no two people are alike. And isn't that wonderful? But if you can approach a situation like that with a sense of gratitude, I mean, look, you get to be with family and family who are, you know, family is blood and, and family is who you choose. Yes. yes. And so if you can be with everybody and have a level of gratitude that you're there, you're taking up space on the planet. And so yes. and you get to be in within hugging distance of all those people. And to be yeah, great, I, that, I guarantee you that your holiday events will be better for you. Yes. Well, I like to share that last Thanksgiving and this Thanksgiving, I'm looking very forward to, because last Thanksgiving, I actually spent it with my uh, husband's side of the family, which we did never done before. So it was really, I was really very grateful for that. This Thanksgiving, our daughter will be, her husband and her will be doing their first Thanksgiving in their new home. So that's really exciting. In their new uh -huh. home. So that's so really cool. exciting. So yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of gratitude for that and just getting together with family. So I love that. I love that. I love that. Now, do you have anything else you want to share about gratitude, about anything new coming up in reference to you, uh, what's going on with the Bora's business, anything going up there? I know you have this amazing magazine. Let's talk about that for maybe, maybe like two minutes, what's going on there with that magazine. I'm sorry, Bora, but we have to. Come on, how else are we going to get that magazine to, to, to grow and expand? We have to. We oh, have to. I know, I know. But right now, it's, it's, it's really giving me a lot of resistance you know it just doesn't want to get done but it will be um no later than the end of this month and um i've got some great great contributors i've got some amazing artwork to share and i'm going to be working on a series of fiction that um will be like a chapter each each issue and so it comes out four times a year and just watch for it because i'll have it up as soon as it's ready and by the way this is just just no, between all of us <laughs> just because i know that it you know it's just us right yes um joanne is my profile healer for this month for this issue so um did you see that happy dance a little folks? bit I more about her <laughs> so um that's that's that on the magazine it's coloricity magazine and my goal is to have it be the one re the one resource for everything color yes. and so if if you work with color at all in any situation, whether it's the chakra colors, whether it's feng shui, whether it's, 
you know, just anything, um, get in touch with me. I'm always looking for contributors and I'm not attached to people that use color the way I do because I know there's nobody else out there right now. Exactly. And are you also looking for anyone to advertise in your magazine? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Advertisers are welcome. Get in touch with me. I'll send you, yeah, I'll send you the media packet. And also, um, the last thing that I wanted to let people know is that I am offering for the first time, um, I call it the wheel of the year. It's a wheel of the year reading for the next 12 months. So that can also be uh, given on a gift card to someone that you love or you know, get one yourself and they're going to be available very soon on my website. You can, you know, or you can just get in touch with me and say, Hey, I want a wheel of the year reading. There you go. I love it. I love it. So Deborah, what I'm going to do now, again, a lot of changes. So rather than asking you to focus on a question and gain some insight that way, what I'm going to focus on for you is the moon's energy in Capricorn because Capricorn is all about our soul's purpose. So and I want to where my Chiron lives. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So for some of you who are not familiar with Chiron, Chiron is known as the wounded healer. And because the Bora has uh, Capricorn as a Chiron wound, it does mean that she's got this challenging time in reference to having to always work harder than she needs to work because she never thinks that she shows up as best as she does. And that's a Chiron wound. That's just her thing. So how do you heal a Kaiwan moon? Theoretically speaking, for one, we really never do. That's one. However, on the flip side of that is the best way to heal from it is to constantly keep doing the work you need to do. Keep showing up. That's what anyone with a Kaiwan Capricorn moon, keep showing up in the work that you're here to do. So based on the Kaiwan moon, this is a card for you, my love. Okay change i want to get that lighting and you see and that it is blue. awesome turquoise yes the throat chakra when i hear this when i see this the change is coming with how you are promoting who you are how you are expressing who you are how you are showing up on social media how you are showing up at the different events that you're going to there's going to be a massive change because that five energy is about change I want you to pay really, really good, big, big, big attention to you, um, November 23, because that 23, 23 energy is really big for you for that change. And just really pay attention to, because you like words, pay attention to words that really stand out for you in regards to how you want to market and show up. That's going to bing on your audience is what I'm hearing. So this is based on the moon of Capricorn. We have this energy until um, tomorrow, until sometime in the later part of the day. And because it is associated with your Kaiwan moon, this is very powerful for you. So change, change, change. I love that for you. So all that being said, we are at the very end of our show. As usual, Deborah, I so love you being here and sharing all that you do share. And I'm gonna do my best to sprinkle a little magic on Deborah that she ends up coming back in 2024 and sharing all that she does because she has so much to share. So we're gonna figure something out for Deborah and we'll have her back on in 2024 because we can't go an entire year without Deborah, can we? I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I would not know what to do with myself. Anyway, well, I kind of need to put my head down and, and bring all the stuff out that, that I've planted seeds for this year. Exactly, exactly. And then, yeah, I'll be back. Don't you fret. Yes, you will be. Yes, you will be. So <clears throat> share that website. And as she's sharing the website afterwards, uh, Bobby's going to bring up her QR code so people can just click onto that to reach out to her. So what's that website, Deborah? It's createdlife.com. C-R-E-A-T-E-D life.com. Perfect. And, and or you can go to my other site, which is coloricity.com. <coughs> Perfect. Excellent. And that QR code is there for anyone who wishes to get on her calendar. And the board again, it was a pleasure having you. <coughs> 
and we'll see each other really soon. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and I will be back with the conclusion of today's show. Hello and welcome. I'm Joanne Angel Barry Colon, your holistic integrative teacher, licensed personal trainer, Reiki master, published author, and card creator. Let me take you down a path of direct communication with the physical body in order to become more aware and in sync with your soul. I will help you to observe and understand the language of the body as it regards to the needs of the soul. Join me on this journey of great expansion and a unique experience. I will help you integrate your mind, body, and soul as you move forward on your journey. For questions, readings, and self-growth discovery sessions, email healingwithin76 at gmail.com. Hello, 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 and welcome back to Joanne's Healing Within. For those of you who are just tuning in, I'm your host, Joanne Angel Barry Cologne. And you missed an amazing show, but you can always come back and watch on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Twitch TV, YouTube, Twitter, and many other platforms. You can also listen to the show as well on all the major podcast platforms. So with all that being said, I'm going to have Bobby just uh, bring up my QR code. So for those of you who are interested in reaching out to me for questions, discovery sessions, readings, feel free to scan that QR code. I would love to connect with you as well. So I would like to now just give a shout out to, again, some of our partners that have some amazing promos available for all of you. They keep you in mind when they put together events. So we're going to start off with Spirit Messages, which is hosted by Joe Monkman. takes place on Tuesday nights. Check out that flyer. Take the information as you need it. Then we also, as the guest for today, the Bola Beauty, our badass color mystic. Yes, yeah, she has. And remember that her most recent magazine will be coming out very soon, so pay attention to that. Then we have the Author Sports Magazine and Podcast. And the next issue to that one takes place January. I believe it's January 4th, if I'm not mistaken. And if you have not yet gotten any of the other issues, you can just go and grab them all on Amazon. You'll see that my uh, I'm on that front cover there as well. And then Intuition of the Soul always has some amazing events going on. Feel free to reach out to Kitty Fox for those events and so much more so there you have it now i know you're all wondering when is the next time we'll be on well <clears throat> considering november has five thursdays there'll be a two week quiet time i will be back on on december 7th 3 30 p.m eastern time and right now the guest is a mystery so you'll have to just stay tuned to see who shows up but meanwhile, enjoy your time, enjoy all this energy we have going on. And the next time we do meet, we will be in Sagittarius Energy with the Sun. And I'll be sharing some amazing insight with you there. For now, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>